Hi, welcome back. I'm Moksha Marcourt, and today I'm going to show you how to glaze with acrylic paint. So, behind me is this painting that I started for New Year's Eve 2020. There's a, a video of the making of this painting on my YouTube channel if you'd like to watch that. I stayed in for New Year's and took about six hours uh, from beginning until what you see now to paint this. Um, and that was a lot of fun. And then now today I want to zoom in close and show you a special technique that is very exciting. Uh, so <clears throat> in these areas where I've painted in white, I want more color from this piece. And instead of just going in with thick opaque paint and changing all the white, I can just take a very uh, light amount of paint uh, and with some medium and glaze over the top of of the white areas and it'll it'll bring the color out without destroying a lot of the values and details that I've already worked so hard to paint in here. So um, we'll zoom in here in a minute but let me show you. This is our friend. It's uh, made by Golden Satin Glazing Liquid. So this is very valuable because it, it slows the drying time a little bit which is is essential because acrylic paints dry very quickly and we're trying to cover large areas and have a little more working time to perfect things and get it right before it dries on us. Uh, this also is kind of thick. It's like the consistency of um, these golden fluid paints that I use. Uh, it's about the same consistency. So it thins the color without thinning the paint like you would get with water. It doesn't lower the viscosity of the paint. It just, uh, it's, it gives you more uh, workability uh, time and the paint spreads very nicely. You have less pigment, which is nice for glazing because we only want a little bit of color. Uh, it's just different than if you, if you used water. You can, you can get away with just water if you don't have this. You can glaze with just water. But I urge you to try this because it's, it's neat stuff. I really like it. I use it every day. So let's zoom in and let's get started painting. Okay, welcome to Palette View. This is one of these nice stay wet palettes. I really enjoy it. So for glazing, I think I am, let's see what Thalo Blue looks like. Um, these are uh, Golden's Fluid Acrylic Paints. They're already a nice consistency, but we're gonna thin them down quite a bit. So, don't need a lot of paint. That's probably way more than I need. Now, when you're glazing, it's nice to have a paint that is more transparent. And this is actually, Golden has these charts here. You can see that this one is more towards the opaque spectrum, transparent to opaque. Ideally, you would want it down here more, but it, it doesn't, it's not going to affect things too much in this case because we're going to we're going to really thin this down. And so instead of using water, I'm using my golden satin glazing liquid. For that much paint, I would do almost 50/50 glazing medium to paint. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um I'm going to use a fairly good sized brush. It's a good sized brush and it's um I like these rounded edges because it's not going to uh, a square brush is going to be more likely to leave sharp lines. So I can work pretty this is also very soft. So let's um I'm going to wet my brush a little bit. and mix my paint with my medium, my glazing medium. I'm gonna start by using more glazing medium. Um, sometimes I'll even wipe ex a lot of the excess off just to be sure I don't have any like clumps of unmixed paint. So 
So get my brush lighted up like that. And sometimes I'll even give the canvas a little spray with water. Uh, I've just got like a regular, you know, find this at the hardware store. Give it a spray. I'll wipe it with my hand just to even it out. I don't want the canvas dripping wet. Just, just dampened a little bit. And let's try it. Let's see what our color looks like. You have a, a moment to decide if that's right. Can blend it in. Now at the center of my uh, being, my entity here, I'm gonna leave it a little bit brighter white, I think. So let's just just start doing this. Um, I don't really know how the surrounding colors are gonna respond, so I'm going kind of slow. You don't have to stay exactly in the lines. That's the that's the beauty of this glazing process. You see how. I'm not losing my details, it's just adding the blue. And this does create more work. It's not, um, I'll go back and I'll fix some of my ha highlights and shadows, but it's kind of, it's a lot of fun. It's, it could be very magical to glaze. Step back, look at the painting from a distance. I think this is working okay for now. Some of this is now already drying. Some of it isn't, that's not dry, but as it dries, you can do a second layer to darken it a little bit. And I think as I get away from the center, my color will change a little bit. I don't know, maybe it'll, I'll add a little more purplish tone to it. So I'm going to go back to my, and I don't, my rays here I may leave white, at least for now. So I kind of have to paint around those. Ideally I shouldn't have painted these rays until the very end, but I got excited and I got ahead of myself. It happens. And that seems about right. You may not even be able to see it very well on the camera. It's just ever so slightly blue. That's exactly what I want. I don't want to go too far yet. So I'm just not limiting my brush strokes just to the white. I'm kind of just going over everything. It'll help unify the tone a little bit. It's one of the main uses for glazing is to unify the tone of your painting. Right now I'm using it more as a special effect, I guess, or I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. Okay. I rinsed my brush a little bit and I've added just a touch of dioxazine purple to my glazing medium. Let's see if this is what I want. Only way to know sometimes is just to test it on an area. And I think I like that. So we'll just run with it. Again, it's this is fairly subtle and it's probably hard to 
fact, it's it's quite subtle and it's probably hard to see on on this camera. But the only way to learn this process is to really try it yourself, anyway. Trial and error. This is what art is all about. It's kind of what I love about being an artist. It's a it's a continuing experiment, really, for me anyway. I don't like to have a formula, a hard and fast formula. It's nice when you learn enough technique that you're not struggling anymore, but. Yeah, I'm not loving the, the purple on the white areas as it gets towards the edge. I think I'm going to go back to my blue. But it's not bad in the darker areas. Glazing the purple on top of these darks. I kind of like what it's doing for those shadows. I think it's because then I have a contrast of this light the blue and the on the highlights and then purple in the shadows that's why I'm liking that so I think you get the idea I'm gonna go to time-lapse mode as I work now So as you can see, after I've done the pass of with the phthalo blue doing my glaze over the whites, now I'm starting to go back and uh, paint back in some of the whites where I want the brightest highlights. Um, and I'll continue to do that all over. And I may glaze again. There's some areas where uh, this line, for example, is too pure white. I'll glaze back in some blue. And there's this sort of back and forth um, that you'll do of glazing and painting back. Um, there's areas also where I'll paint in uh, some darks. So that's the name of the game with glazing. I um, hope you try it and... Again, let me know if you have any questions that I could answer and have fun painting.